In March 2019, the World Wide Web Consortium and the Fast Identity Online, or FIDO Alliance, announced the specifications for the official web standard for web authentication, or WebAuthn for short. WebAuthn is the second major component that, along with the Client to Authenticator Protocol, or CTAP, makes up the FIDO2 standard. FIDO2 is a standard that enables users to leverage common devices to perform authentication functions for online services, rather than relying on traditional methods of what a person knows, such as usernames or passwords. WebAuthn is the API that enables the creation and use of public key-based credentials by web applications. The idea is that something a user is can be used to authenticate themselves. Something a user is can be demonstrated or proven in several ways, such as mobile devices, biometrics, or security keys. WebAuthn is a method to authenticate oneself instead of the traditional way of usernames and passwords. As we all know, usernames and passwords are notoriously bad at keeping things protected. According to Know Before, 81% of data breaches were as a result of stolen, weak, or default passwords. Credential management is also incredibly resource intensive. According to Yubico, the average enterprise user spends 10.9 hours per year entering or resetting passwords, which costs the average company around $5.2 million annually. Enterprise Benefits WebAuthn aims to provide benefits that we can group into four categories, security, convenience, privacy, and scalability. Let's talk about security. The new authentication mechanisms reduce the ability and likelihood of being compromised. Biometrics or other secrets like passwords never leave the user's device and cannot be compromised by a third party. Convenience. Rather than having to type in a username and password for each login, fingerprint readers, facial recognition cameras, FIDO security keys, or personal devices perform authentication. Privacy. The FIDO keys used between the user and the web service are unique for each internet site, meaning they cannot be used to track users across sites. And lastly, scalability. FIDO2 was designed to be enabled through a simple API call across all supported browsers and platforms. WebAuthn is already supported in Windows 10, Android, and Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Apple Safari web browsers. So how does it work? WebAuthn is one of two main components in the FIDO2 standard for authentication. WebAuthn enables web services to use FIDO authentication through the use of standard web API that can be built into browsers and related web platform infrastructure. CTAP allows more authentication mechanisms to be used. CTAP enables smartphones or FIDO security keys to be used to authenticate web services. WebAuthn by itself is just an API functionality. CTAP by itself is just a protocol designed for external authenticator communications. Both parties enable the full FIDO2 functionality that is critical to its convenience and adoption. Here is a high-level description of the process for when a user is registering their account. First, the user clicks on the register button on their desired website. Then, the user agent, a browser in this example, gets the challenge, essentially a large random number from the relying party, which is the term used to describe the resource or website that the user wants to register with. Then, the user agent provides the challenge and calls the command to create new credentials to the authenticator, such as YubiKey, USB token, or smartphone biometric authenticator. The authenticator then sends an authorization request to the user, who then authorizes it by scanning their thumb or retina, for example. The authenticator provides new credentials and the signed challenge back to the user agent, and then to the relying party. The relying party registers the new user with the provided information, public key, and signed challenge, and will hold on to this information to identify the user whenever they want. The user is now registered and has access to the website. The authentication process for WebAuthn is very similar to the registration process, except for the following parts. The first API call from the user agent to the authenticator is not a call to create new credentials, but a call to retrieve the credentials that were already created in the registration process. Keys are also not sent between the user agent and the relying party, as the keys have already been sent and instead signed challenges are sent. Authentication allows the relying party to send a challenge to the authenticator. 
This challenge can now be signed with the previously generated public key credentials and sent back to the relying party. This allows the relying party to validate the credentials of the user and thus they prove their identity. For any developers looking to take advantage of web authn and FIDO authentication, there are two changes they must make to their application. First, modify the login and registration page of your website and mobile application to use the FIDO protocols. Second, set up a FIDO server to authenticate any FIDO registration or authentication request. After making these changes, the application should be ready to take advantage of the new FIDO2 standard.